right, so we're just going to briefly discuss how we find the derivative of a horizontal line. So this is a follow-up to finding the derivative of any linear function, and now we're looking specifically at horizontal lines. So we want to ask, what is the derivative of a horizontal line? So remember, the derivative is the slope at any point on the function, so we want to know what is the instantaneous rate of change, or the slope, at any point on the horizontal line. So this might already be ringing some bells for you, but if we remember what a horizontal line looks like, it has an equation of something like y equals b or f of x equals b. So all of the outputs are the same, that's why it's equal to b, just some constant value. Then a horizontal line has a slope of zero. So the slope at every point on the line is zero, and the derivative is the slope at any point, so the derivative at every point is also zero. We can write this out in a more formal mathematical statement. So if f of x equals b, where b is a number, a real number, some constant, then f prime of x equals zero. So this means that the derivative of a horizontal line is zero, and this should work for any horizontal line. So let's try one out and see what it looks like. So in this example, we're going to practice with both horizontal lines and general linear functions. So I'm going to ask you to find the derivative of each of these functions. First, let's say g of x equals 7. Then let's say h of x is negative 4x plus 1. So pause the video now and try to find the derivative of each of these functions, and then we'll come back and do it together. Okay, so for the first function g, that is a horizontal line at 7, so the derivative of that is just 0. The slope at every point of this horizontal line is 0. Then moving on to the linear function, the derivative of the linear function, negative 4x plus 1, is just the slope of that function. So the slope is negative 4, so h prime of x, the derivative, is negative 4. To review, g prime of x equals 0 means that the slope of g at every point is 0. Then for h prime of x equals negative 4, this means the slope at every point on h is negative 4. At this point in the video series, this means we know the derivative of two types of functions. We know the derivative of linear functions in the form mx plus b, the derivative is m, and we know the derivative of horizontal lines written as g of x equals b, where b is a constant, and that derivative is zero. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.